In 2008, I had a residency in Basel, in Switzerland, and I had the idea that because I was in Switzerland, I thought I'll be in the studio some days and then I'll go to the mountains and walk and just as a kind of break from the studio. And I arrived and there was this, they had lost the studio and they had rented an office for me, a very nice office, but I'm not an artist who works in an office. I had a kind of crisis because I was like, I make sculpture and how can I make sculpture? And I have this year to work and so I thought, ah, I guess I'm going to the mountains and I don't know how I'll make the work, but I'll figure it out. And so I spent the year walking and collecting rocks. And uh, at the end of that year, I thought, if I continue as an artist, it's through walking. I don't want a studio practice. I want to be walking. So it really changed my life. And it was like everything good that happens in my life. It's like something, it's a kind of crisis. And then it becomes the opportunity. I don't think I choose the books and I don't think the books choose me, so, but somehow they happen to get, we meet each other. I mean, all the work is indexical. I think I'm a very simple thinker and so I like the obviousness of um, a kind of transparency of my relationship to materials. It's really like I'm trying to take care of the material I'm working with. So if I'm reading a book and I'm interested in it, the index was a way that I can be intimate with the text without making it into something different. I'm not commenting on the book, um, but I'm close to it. And I can kind of see it through, because I can see it in a reduced form. So the index is this kind of distillation of the book. Again, not sort of uh, representing the landscape, but I'm part of the world. It's been important to me to also feel like a rock and also feel like a plant and also feel like other kinds of animals. So the landscape is like the umbrella that holds all of these things together, right? Yeah. The animal and vegetable and mushroom worlds. Like we're all materials on this planet. It's the horizon and it's a text line and it's equilibrium, it's this balance, right? And it's our sensation of moving, of walking. The proprioception, the way we sense our being in the world is in relation to the horizon and the sky and ground. And in a way, it's, a, it's such an interesting thing because I'm very interested in uh, things not being uh, this or that, one or the other, competition, you know. The walking commas as one of the titles is clearly making it clear, rather than this presumption that work, that artwork is the main activity, you know? So I'm thinking of it more as, uh, yeah, in relation to this activity of walking. So it's about the, the work being made in a pause in the walk. So the walk is the day, and then you know, whether it's printing or writing a sentence, you know, or taking one photograph of one rock, that it's this pause which is natural within the walk. So I was invited to Ecuador to walk tip for the biennial in Cuenca. And I was invited because the curator, um, Jacopo Visconti, knew that it would be a great place for me to walk. So it was a very nice invitation, but I was also, I've been trying to travel less and less to walk and was thinking, ah, I'm gonna go to Ecuador to walk and isn't that strange? Why am I going all the way there to walk when I can walk closer to where I live? And also because I was thinking about Douglas Hubler, there are works of his which Seth Siegelob um, made for him, sort of following the instructions. So I realized there was this great opportunity. And also it was sort of like, a, it was an opportunity to share the activity because there was something about, for me, the importance of the rock in my hand, but also I saw this 
possibility for the proxy, which I thought was quite beautiful, of that someone else could make these walks. And it was the people from the Biennale found this woman, this young woman who is a kind of trail guide, which is very unusual for a woman in Ecuador to do, and she really kind of understood it. And so I was walking simultaneously with her in Cape Breton, and she was walking in Ecuador, and it was a sweet simultaneity also.